Hey, it's Heather at Adventures in Gardening, and today we're going to be doing some tomato plant maintenance. So it has been a very busy spring for us here. I had a great um, year of tomato plant and vegetable plant sales, and I met a lot of great people, a lot of new people, a lot of familiar faces came back. Um, we were running that race, and in the middle of everything, um, um, my daughter and son-in-law, they had their second baby. So granddaughter number one spent a lot of time. She, um, she was my um, employee of the month, <laughs> let's just say that. And she learned how to make change and say hello and say goodbye and talk to people. And uh, she was just super cute every time anybody would come and buy plants from us. So our hearts are full, our arms are full, and we just now we need to make sure that our bellies are going to be full with tomatoes in the fall. So I need to play catch up. Um, the tomato plants did get planted on time, but then that is it. So there's a lot of work to be done, and some of them are walking the line, whether it's too late to do the pruning that needs to be done. So I'm growing tomato plants in two different ways, um, the ones that are on strings and the ones that are on the um, the cattle panel. So um, I'm just going to walk you through my thought process as I take care of um, these tomato plants. So let's get started. So if you are new here, this is the structure that my husband built me a few years back to grow my um, tomato plants on. And you, when they are done, when it's done properly, you can grow them very close together. Also. If, also, if you're new here, now's a great time to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my adventures in gardening. So, all right, so here you can see I planted all of these, I think, mid-May, and look at how full they are. Now, when you plant them and grow them on a string, it is one, one liter, and then you cut everything else off. So that's what we need to do here. So you can see how nice and full all of these are and how green they are and as we go down the line you'll see that they get smaller and smaller because the ones that are down here um, I planted leftover tomato plants after the sales were over um, down here. So I am going to so I'm going to set this up so that you can see what I'm going to do because I am really going to give these guys a haircut. All right, so I'm going to probably shoot this a couple of different ways here. And the idea of um, growing them on a string is that you have, um, you cut all the suckers off so you don't let any of the suckers grow. But here is my main, my main um, leader branch right here. You can see it has the flowers on it and then there's a leaf. So we've got the main stem, the leaf, and in between in the little armpit here, is the sucker. So I don't want to let the suckers grow because I want nice big tomatoes. I want the energy to go into this this one plant that has all the tomatoes that grow off of the main stem here. Now you should just be able to just snap these off but these are too large so I'm going to use nice sharp shears and hopefully it'll heal no problem. And I take that off and now I'm just going to wrap my tomato plant clockwise. I do them all clockwise. And there you go. So now let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to go through all the varieties that I'm growing right now today because this is just about plant maintenance. So um, this is one that my sister grew right here. You can see it's a little smaller than the rest of these guys. So I'm focusing on all these big guys here. Now you can see right here I can snap this one off because that one's a lot younger. And I am going to actually trim off all the leaves that are able to touch the ground. Okay, this is going to help keep disease at bay for my tomato plants. And here's another sucker. So I'm going to snap that guy off. And here's a really young sucker here. See that? Okay, and here's another sucker, and another. All right, so now I am going to try to leave as many leaves as possible because you want the energy to go into the tomato plant, but eventually I will be cutting these as they grow longer and they get closer to the ground because I, I just don't want the splash up of the of the rain 
you know, keep the disease at bay. All right, so this one is done. I have my one leader stem and my leaves are all trimmed. Next. All right, so I just ran and got myself a laundry basket to throw all of the clippings in because all of these clippings are going to go into the garbage. So you can see this guy's not even anywhere near his string here. Some of these, oh my word. Yeah, choices. Choices have to be made here. Sometimes I will leave more than one stem, um, especially when they get a little bit taller, uh, when they're young and I don't want the, the plant to split at the bottom, so I will not do it until they are a little bit bigger. So I am cutting off the really big suckers right now at the bottom. And if I can snap them, I would rather snap them. I don't know, it's always cleaner. Feels cleaner. Some of them are just too big. How do you know if you have the main stem and not a sucker? Well, the main stem is always going to have the, the flower on it before the sucker does. So this one is actually the sucker. And again, we cut all the leaves off that are touching the ground or near the ground. And now we have our one plant. There we go. All right, so I'll try doing this one over my shoulder here. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, cut off. How's that? <laughs> start at the bottom, cut off the suckers and the leaves that are touching the soil. What's the matter, Annabelle? This is why you're not supposed to wait this long. Some of these are gonna be more of a challenge than others. So I just put the leader up here. Can you see the tomato on this one right here? Maybe, can you see the tomato now? Okay, so this one is Cherokee purple. It is a beauty. And another day when the tomatoes are bigger, we will come out and look at all of the different varieties and their, how they're growing. But that is not today. today Oh, how many tomato plants am I growing? I, so I grow, um, I grow about 70-ish um, tomato plants. Uh, there's 35 here. So that's what we're dealing with right now. And I do intend to still do the, um, the ones that are up top. So it's gonna take a while.
know, roll and things. Hey, 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 you will get a bath. Stop. So in case you're wondering what that noise is in the background, that is my dog. She is patrolling. Oh, and there's the other dog. Yeah. Uh, she is um, the little one. She's looking for frogs and for a little fish, and she's just patrolling all day, back and forth. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the first section done. You can see everything. It, it looks like you know, dramatically different. That's how much I took off, okay, of this, of this first section here. So we have one liter stem and all of the suckers are off of them and uh, lots of good air circulation and nothing is touching the ground. So here's the next section and I will not bore you by showing you the same thing, but you can see the difference. You know, they're I mean, this would be great if they were growing in a garden here, but I am all about productivity and saving my own seeds and having nice, big, healthy um, tomatoes, juicy tomatoes. So we are nearly finished here, and you can see much more organized looking, right? Some of them are a lot bigger than others. Some of them have tomatoes on them and it's this last little section here that I want to show you how it's supposed to be done. This is so I am not going to take any of the bottom leaves off of these. All I'm going to do for these younger ones is just get them started on their string and look for little suckers that I can just snap off. So here's a sucker. Because when they are bigger and you're taking and cutting off suckers the size of a regular sized tomato plant, they might not heal good and that's not good. So. All right, and we're done. So now I'm just gonna grab all my tools and my basket and we'll head up to the cattle panels. All right, so the cattle panels, this time of year, we've got peas on this side and mostly they're cherry tomatoes, but also there are some plum tomatoes down there. And, but the approach is going to be much different here, okay? But I, I, this, the cattle panels was the greatest thing that I did last year for, um, especially for the cherry tomatoes. It was just so fantastic to grow them like that. Yeah, uh, you do not cut all of the suckers off of cherry tomatoes because you want lots of cherry tomatoes and you just don't treat them the same way as you do the medium and the beefsteak style tomatoes. So a lot of this I'm just going to be weaving in and out of the cattle panel, but any suckers that are, or branches that are going that way, I do cut them off because I want up and over. All right, so I am pretty sure this is going to be super difficult to to see here because the garden is super messy. So my first pass through is just going to be about weaving them in everything that's on this side and I will trim, I will cut everything that's on the other side because I don't want it going the opposite direction. And I have twine to start to hold them in place. Oh boy, we are very, very messy. So anything that is reaching away, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it, especially when it's down so low and I also do, this is a weed. Let's get that out of the way. Good idea, Heather, good idea. Okay. And I'm also going to trim any of the leaves that are down low on the cherry tomatoes too. You know what, I'm gonna cut that one too. 
All right, so that way it's branching up a little higher here and just tuck everybody in like that. All right, well, I don't know if you can see the difference here. This went, this went a lot quicker, but it's a lot more difficult to explain. Um, you can see that it's a lot more opened up. I removed select uh, suckers. I removed everything that was facing out away from the cattle panel. See this side? You can see the side is nice and neat here. And then I tied everything up on this side and uh, removed leaves that were too close to the ground. This is a process though. I mean, I'm, every day I need to actually try to come out here and check on these tomatoes. So that is it for today, my friends. Um, I've got semi-determinates and dwarfs and micro tomatoes in other locations, and we will visit that another day. Um, I'd love to know how your tomato plants are doing. How is your year going? Do you have challenges? Are you growing new things? Leave me a comment below. Let me know how things are going. As you can see behind me, um, I've got garden maintenance that has also slipped through the cracks, slip weeding specifically because my employee of the month, she doesn't know a weed from a plant quite yet, but she is working on that. So thumbs up if you enjoyed spending time with me today and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next adventure in gardening. See you soon. Well, your breath smells like goose poop. Oh my word. Come here. Come. Right there. This is what happens when you're a stinky dog. Rolling in all kinds of stuff.